Welcome to my channel. Please bear with me. I'm trying to find good lighting and I'm trying to learn this whole YouTube thing and I'm just working with what I've got for now and um, I hope the quality isn't too bad and uh, thank you for watching and for sticking with it. Hi! Welcome to my channel, Esme Reads. Today I want to talk to you about the top 16 books that I chose for my favorites of 2016. I read 141 books in 2016 and it was really hard to narrow my list down, but I went ahead and narrowed it down to 16 books. Honorable Mention is technically a book, but a trilogy. I finally read some Stephen King. It's been a really long time since I read some Stephen King, so my husband had these books and I decided to go ahead and give them a try and I really, really enjoyed this. Such a quick read, you can't stop reading. You want to know what happens. My favorite of the trilogy was actually Finders Keepers. Oh, it was so tense at the end. I really loved it. Good story. Um, I don't know about the conclusion. I thought it was a little, it was very Stephen King. I'll just put it that way. But I highly recommend. Very good. My second honorable mention for best book of 2016, or in my list of best books of 2016, was, surprisingly, I didn't think I was going to like this, Please Ignore Vera Dietz by A.S. King. It's my first A.S. King book. And I know she writes magical realism, and I sometimes like it, sometimes don't, but this was actually brilliant, funny, and really special. That's what the blurb says. But I agree. It was so good. I have notes in it, even though the cat tore up some of them, but this is a great YA book. I highly recommend. I even, I even bought a second copy just because it looked different. You know, us book people, we gotta buy all the books. I'm gonna start with my favorite contemporaries of 2016. My first favorite book of 2016 was Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. This was such a cute and fun read, and it inspired me to be a better person to others and the impact you can have on other people. And it really made me want a uh, porcupine tie. And I don't even wear ties. Yeah. But uh, I love this book. I think everybody should read this book, have this book. I buy copies I find at thrift shops and I give them away. Highly recommend. Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. The second book on this list is a YA called Fangirl by Rainbow Rao. I thought this book was adorable. It was cute. It was about twin girls, Kath and Ren. And uh, actually, you know what? I listened to this. It was my first ever audiobook. Great audiobook. I didn't much care for the fan fiction, but I thought the story was really cute and adorable. And if you want a light, fluffy read, uh, I highly recommend this. The third book on my list is one of my favorite contemporaries now, and I'm so glad I read it. And that is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I wish I had the prettier copy, but in due time, in due time, I will find it, and I will buy it, and I will love it. Yes. It's about a girl named Anna, and she finishes her senior year of high school in Paris, and she doesn't really want to go, but then she meets a boy, and it's just a really cute story. It makes you want to visit Paris. I really want to go there. The fourth book on my list I don't have with me. My sister is borrowing it. I need it back if you're watching. Or read it. Love it. Uh, that book is Slammed by Colleen Hoover. I read all of Colleen Hoover's books in 2016 and I am a huge fan. It was hard to pick a favorite out of all of her books. Um, and it was a tie between It Ends With Us or Slammed. And I think Slammed because it's more young adult, I kind of enjoyed that better. And I really liked the sibling love and not just the relationship. And I went into this blind, so I didn't know what the relationship was going to be about. I didn't even know what slammed was. I know. But uh, poetry, so good. Go into it blind. Don't read what it's about, even though I just told you what it's about. 
kind of fierce. But anyway, go read it. It's so good. Slammed by Colleen Hoover. The fifth book on this list I would not recommend as YA. I would recommend more as new adult. Nonetheless, I loved this. I, I loved this. It's Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. This book broke me. Uh, I cried so much. I became so invested in these characters and I was rooting for them. Even if it was wrong, I, I'm not going to tell you what it's about. If you haven't heard of it, don't Google it. Pick it up. Read it. Yeah. The sixth book on this list is actually the only psychological thriller on my list, but it was so good. So good. Uh, I don't I read it because books and Lala I'll uh, link her channel in the description box but she said it was her favorite thriller and I was like I'll give it a try and oh my goodness I loved it I loved it and that was the kind worth killing by Peter Swanson chilling and hypnotically suspenseful could be an instant classic I agree Lee child I agree this is a well-crafted thriller I loved it so much it is my top thriller ever it's to the point where I bought a different copy and then I bought a different copy three copies three different covers it's that good if you're in the mood for a psychological thriller I highly recommend the kind worth killing the seventh book on my list I also listened to on audiobook and I don't listen to a lot of audiobooks but I'm so glad I listened to this one and that was the help by Katherine Stockett You've probably heard of this book and or seen the movie and I know they're really good they're really great I'd actually already seen the movie I just really um, wanted to see how the book compared to it I really really enjoyed this and they have uh, the character that plays Minnie uh, she does her actual voice in the book in, as Minnie and I loved it I loved this so much I highly recommend the audiobook the eighth book on my list is also historical fiction and that is Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetys this story follows Lena, a Lithuanian girl who gets put on a train at the age of 12 and she has to work in camps in Siberia and it just follows her struggles. It's a, it's in 1941, World War II time. This story was so good and I think more people need to read stories like this, but I highly recommend this. The ninth book on my list I don't own yet. It's actually coming in the mail because I realized I don't own it and that's a problem because it's that good. And that is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodin. I loved this book. It's an alternate history story of World War II where instead of the Nazis losing, they win. I know, it's terrible. But it's a motorcycle race uh, adventure. I know that sounds weird, but it was so good. It worked so well. So intense. The last few pages of the book were so intense. I highly recommend Wolf by Wolf. I actually have the second book, Blood for Blood. I checked it out from the library, and I'm going to read that this month or next month because I can't believe I forgot it came out in 2016, and I forgot to pick it up. But Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodin, so good. I highly recommend it. The tenth book on my list is one of my absolute favorite books of all time and that is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This book touched me so much. I think about it often. I recommend it often. It is that good. It's a story of two sisters in France and during World War II and they each have very different ideas or opinions about the war and how to get through it and it's so touching. It's it's an adventure even for for one of them it, it will make you cry I cried so much at the end it's such a good book read it if you're into historical fiction I highly 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 recommend this book now I'm going to get into my fantasy slash sci-fi favorites of 2016 and I'm going to start with Falling Kingdoms I was introduced to the Falling Kingdoms world in 2016. I'm so glad I picked it, picked up this book and I read all five books that are out. The sixth and final book comes out this year in December, I believe, and I can't wait to read it. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, but uh, 
Falling Kingdoms, if you've read this and you kind of didn't like it, please continue. It is so good. You never know what's going to happen. There are plot turns, plot twists, things happening all the time. It's so good. Uh, my favorite book is actually the third book. Uh, my sister's uh, also borrowing those books. And the third book, Gathering Darkness, I, is my favorite. I love, I love this series. I was going to say trilogy. It's not a trilogy. I love this series. I highly recommend it. I've heard it being compared to like a YA Game of Thrones. I haven't read Game of Thrones or seen the show. I know. I'm one of the, you know, my, I'm, I'm the minority. But this, I love this. It's one of my favorite fantasy series. The next book on my list is The Night Circus by Erin Morgan Stern. If you want to read a book that feels so magical and it's a place that you really want to go to, The Night Circus is a great one. This circus is amazing. I wish I could go to it. I wish it was real. Uh, it's a story of two magicians that are in a competition with each other, but they don't really know it. And I'll just leave it at that. I highly recommend it. The next book on my list is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I'd never read any Lee Bardugo before this. I didn't read the Grisha trilogy, but I didn't need to because this book was amazing just as is. Uh, it's a book of six dangerous outcasts and one impossible heist. Uh, this story has adventure. It has unlovable characters that you grow to love. And I just really, really like this story. The 15th book on my list is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. The whole trilogy is really my favorite. Ah, amazing sci-fi trilogy. My favorite was probably Golden Sun, the one in the middle. Um, the second book, it's a story set on Mars and the main character's name is Darrow. Something bad happens to him. He's on the bottom of the color-coded society that exists on Mars and he fights his way to the top or he tries to anyway. And it's just such a cool story. And if you're into sci-fi or even into fantasy or just want to give it a shot, this is the series. It's amazing. My 16th and final favorite book of 2016, it's to no surprise, is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. I read A Court of Thorns and Roses last year as well. And... When I started this book, I couldn't believe how amazing it was going to be. Or it has a lot of pages, but it goes by so quickly. You never want it to end. The relationships change, character development, new characters, friendships. This is great. Uh, although I would say uh, only adult or this is not really geared toward YA in my opinion, but such, such a good book. That concludes my 16 most favorite books of 2016. Have you read any of these books that I read in 2016? Were any of them your favorites too? If not, which ones do you think you'd like to read? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I don't know. I, I, I can't choose an order of my favorite, 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 fra favorites? have problems.